Good morning, evening, afternoon, everyone. I am Dorm. This is Dorm Streams, and welcome back to Madagascar, the 2005 video game inspired by the 2005 film, inspired by an zoo animals, animals from a zoo. Uh, hi. So last time on In Retrospect, if you didn't get to watch it, hopefully there was like a la uh, last time on uh, in, re in Retrospect. But if there wasn't, uh, we played the first level of Madagascar to make the effort to unlock the power of my childhood, the uh, the golden memories of my childhood, and that was the mini golf mini game from the Madagascar game. I don't know why we obsessed over it so much. I don't know why we loved it so much, but we have unlocked it. And now we have to find it. I don't know where it is in the- I don't know how to play it in the game. I- is this where we're being taken? No, this is- Okay, so shuffleboard's down here. So let me go find, uh, mini golf. Hi, <laughs> well, this is certainly an adventure. Just like, uh, the adventure of the knowledge that the scene where Alex dreams about stealing, uh, or dreams about snakes slowly falling down on him spoofs an iconic scene from the DreamWorks movie American Beauty, where Lester- they spoofed fucking American Beauty in this game? Where Lester Burnham dreams of roses falling down on his daughter's friend Angela. The same song is played in both scenes. So, fun little tidbit for the adults, just like this fun video for me, the adult. Uh, gosh, I'm, I'm an adult now. Please give me to the mini golf at some point. Mini golf would be lovely. Where is it on the map? It is the furthest on the map it could possibly be. That is the final battle, so we've passed it up. I bet it's at the first level. And uh, we never saw it, and that's gonna be just great for me. And this is great video content that we are creating. Wait, that did say what? Lemur Rave or whatever? Yeah, that's not the one we want. We definitely want mini golf, uh, or putt putt as we call it here in the dorm, uh, which is where you are currently. Is it at the beginning of the. No, it's just back. It's. No, wait, tiki mini golf is. Wait, Tiki mini golf is up from here. Haha! We found it! Again, I present the greatest mini game of all time. The great- this should have been the entire game. They should have just made like eight stages of this and it would have been amazing. So I've hyped it up enough. The course champion is Alex. We're gonna beat Alex. What are the instructions? Let's read here a little bit. Hi, I'm Mort. And when I'm not Hi Mort! Of those New York Giants, I like to tinker on my beautiful- a Football reference? Tiki golf course. It's the trickiest one on the whole island. Yes, it is. Uh, oh yeah. I love it so it's much. It's the only one that you want to know how to play. Just I do. Just the pearl ball with this stick into these holes. Sounds easy, right? Yeah. Wrong. Whoa! But wrong in a kind of a cute and endearing way. <laughs> this is really cute, actually. Get on with it! Okay. <laughs> Why is this game so meta? The ball into the I love it. If it weren't for all the treacherous corners, ramps, Weird and cut. nasty gizmos <gasps> I've installed. This is Crane. I remember this now. Oh. It's also nostalgic for me. I love this so much. Oh, hey, yeah, I never said it in the first video. In retrospect is where we take a new look at old games. That should be the catchphrase, and I just forgot to say it. Oops. Yes. I see you golf with friends. You stole your entire... Well, actually, that's not how this golf with friends is played. Golf with friends is totally a ripoff of Madagascar the game. What? What is happening? all your precious metals. You what is going on? Mort, I told you before. What is happening? Hypnosis doesn't work. Then does it work? <laughs> Philip Martin does a good Chris Rock. What was that sound effect? Stronger your stroke. Be careful though. <laughs> the ball too hard. First off, they're pearls which are expensive to replace. Fair enough. Also, if you hit the ball really hard. It may not go in exactly the direction you what want. What the? What the? What, what? And if you approach the hole too quickly, the ball may sail right over it. Your There's like a... Is the total of all your holes cockiness? A counter holes mechanic? Wins. Uh, just like politics. March! <gasps> what? That's it! Best score for the course is saved with your game. Who did so they think was playing this game and why was it me? Uh, this age now. That they wanted to play this game because I love this. All right, we are playing one player because I am alone, and we are obviously gonna play Truly the game as. Gentlemen. I think I always played as Maurice. Of course, you imagine. Oh. Wait, is it? Oh. Is... Now you're riding with the king. Right, because this was Sasha Baron Cohen in the film. Uh, but let's play as Maurice. He's a cute little guy. All right, so all the playing. So we have the preview is square, and that gives us a little pass over the little fly over the hole here. I guess, right? Yeah. And so you just come through that thing, you pop out that thing. Got it. But there was some little side hole. I don't know if you guys caught that. 
Let me take a look around the uh, rest of the field here, make sure there's nothing that I'm missing. But I think I think we're just supposed to go through this little this little gate right here. Uh, and you start your swing with circle. You can change your direction with the left uh, analog stick or the D-pad, like that. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna reline up my shot now and uh, start my swing. Okay, so you just hit circle once when you want to hit it, however hard you're hitting it, I guess. I did not hit it nearly hard enough. <laughs> okay, well, at least we have our, uh, we have our, 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 our uh, what the hell? Hey, why are you sliding like that? That was weird. Uh, I just hit right a little bit. Okay, so maybe like there. I did not wait for the thing. Oh, if I had gone in the hole, I would have gone in the, the little side thing. I get it. Okay, we're fine. I played butt butt before, I swear. That did not go exactly the angle I wanted. Or no, 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 no. Okay, well, uh, this is a lovely, lovely start for old uh, Maurice here. Can we reset the video? No. Uh, the producers are telling me no, that we can't. Just kidding. I'm the producer, because this is my show. Uh, and nobody else is, and this is, uh, oh gosh, we're in just ping pong hell now. Uh, let me just go ahead and get a little, get a little love tap over here. Oh, that's probably too much of a love tap. Probably, it's, it's like a, an enamored tap. And, uh, we don't like where that went at all. Alright, well, uh, let's see here. Alright, so let's try to hit it like, uh, that was far too hard. Oh, no, that might have been, nope, st still way too hard. Hey, uh, this is, this is, uh, I'm terrible at this, huh? And nostalgia not not doing me any favors here. So let's try to just be gentle with it. Wait for the backswing and go like that's far too gentle. All right, well I need to find the middle ground. Definitely need to find the middle ground. That's okay. Probably there. Probably a good middle ground. Yes. Okay. Good middle ground there. We finally we finally done it. I'm gonna do it without even changing my camera angle. Just kidding. Uh, I'm gonna put it right, right, right. Oh oh oh. Let's try it right. There. We're gonna hit it like this. Boosh. Hey, we did it. I started with a nine. Not the greatest start. But you know what is it is a great start into the facts. Uh the scene where uh, I already read that one. Shoot. Uh, according to the patch the captain is wearing, the name of the boat is SS Act 2. I'm assuming it's in the act the second act of the of the of the film. That would be pretty funny. I hit it really hard because I have no idea what we're doing. Uh, well, this is certainly a, a bounce around time that we've set up for ourselves. Is this like a statue? What is this? They're holding a thing that says toys, which is pretty dope. I would like some toys, thank you. That would be lovely. When you guys were kids, did you ever think of, like, what adulthood would be like and, like, what you would do with your money once you had your money? Pretty sure the hole's back here. Um, because mine was always, uh, just like, I want to have owned every, at the time, every PS2 game, which now is, like sort of feasible but like at the time seemed like the craziest goal ever like i would know i was rich if i owned every ps2 game we got a little par we're getting better but also toys was a was another one uh just to own lots of toys i remember the first time like i remember when online shopping was starting uh oh in the top hole baby in the top hole <laughs> i bet that's good for your boy dormo maybe it's maybe it's not no 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 i think this is fine um but I remember when uh, KB Toys, uh, the the store, when they first had a website, I botched it. No, Jesus Christ! Uh, when they first had a website, I made a, a wish list. Uh, my I made my Christmas list, and it was probably like a mile long. And I remember my mom being like, "You can't just ask for everything from Santa." I was like, "But it's like Santa. If I ask for stuff, he'll get it for me." Because I was a deluded little kid, and I had no idea. I knew Santa was real, so. Oh, I remember this level. This level will uh, absolutely destroy you if you don't play it right. This is a uh, this is a hell trap. But luckily, first good first shot. Yes, very good first shot. We probably could have gone in that little hole there. Oh, went through that tire a little bit. It's okay. It's fine. But uh, you know, hole aside, we actually did pretty okay. Uh, that was far too hard. Uh, but maybe we'll bounce around. That almost could have gone in, and we're back right back here, which is uh, not good. And what is that little hole for? Oh, that's where the hole would have come out. Okay, so we actually were. Fine. Hey, uh, camera, you want to go? Nope, you can't go that way, huh? And we are, uh, we're set up with quite the angle here. I think that that's probably about correct. Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna move it a little bit there and then go, like, in the, oh, that was far too soft. <sighs> the, uh, the, the thing goes pretty, goes pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie to you. Should never try to get it on the downswing, I don't guess. Because we're, uh, we're doing the worst right now. So that's par that we just passed up. 
Oh, no, sorry, that's whole four par four. That's not my strokes. Uh, okay. Uh, the uh, camera angles. Certainly something. That's too hard. Oh, I didn't limp it! I thought I was gonna limp it. I thought I was gonna be fine. I thought the game was gonna give me a little bit of uh, classic leeway, but in, in classic video game fashion, of course. Leeway taken away from me. There we go. Nailed it. Whew! Manhattan. Tricky hole, as I said before. But not tricky where I thought it would be. Oh, no, this hole is satisfying. I remember this one because it's like a blah, 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 blah. You'll see. You'll see what I mean, I promise. So if we do it like this, whoa, 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 whoa. And it's going to bounce off the little, little doofuses here. Oh, what a shot. What an absolute legend of a shot. Got around all the little... Listen, listen to this sound effect. <laughs> what is this sound effect? Stupid! All right, uh, let's see if we can actually make this putt for once. Oh, I was a little off, but get off the bank! Oh, rimmed in, big birdie. Agreed, Maurice. How many holes are there? Are there nine holes or eighteen? Please be eighteen. I remember there being different. There's one hole I in particular I remember being like a treehouse, and there was like a slide and stuff. That that hole was Chef's kiss. That was a great hole. Went a little too hard. Your goal here is to get it in that pipe, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which is which is not an easy task. Let's try to just do a little just do a little nudge here. I messed up the angle, so that's fun. <sighs> uh, Alright, let's try to I guess get the angle on this side and then it'll it'll bounce on the other side. I guess is the idea. I will say I ah, I'm not gonna say that it sounds like a big excuse. We're fine. I bet, like, that was very forgiving. I bet uh, 2005 Dorm, who would have been 10 years old, uh, would have been very upset with with, have, with my play so far uh, today here at the at, in retrospect. But also pretty happy with the way, like, the whole life thing has been going for me to be playing Madagascar. Just, you know, as a 23-year-old, not, like, having a suit. I mean, I do own a suit, but you know what I mean. Wow, this is a, uh, this is a finicky little mat, huh? This mat's got a little bit of a curve to it, and... Uh, Oh, that's too hard. Yeah, this sucks, huh? This is uh, this is not fun. All right, I'm gonna blind do it here. There we go. We got it eventually. Got it in one. Definitely got it in one. So the uh, the high score is 32, which we just hit. Uh, so we may have to take another crack at this, depending on if there are nine or 18 holes uh, to try to get it through here. But uh, we'll see. Maybe maybe hit a little hard. Perhaps hit it a little hard. Uh, perhaps a little hard there with that hit. So let's try. That's far too soft. Wow, the, uh, the gradient of hits is, uh, very severe between the first and two. Man, we are just really just beans in the hell out of this, huh? See, why is that not... And then the second one's real hard. Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> you're fine. There we go. Got it. Gonna get lip in. Get the brakes! Nice. That was a 13 stroke. So it is two thirds. Okay, got it. So it is a nine hole course. All right, here we go. Gonna go for the big. We're gonna go for the big shot. Gonna go for the Billy Joel here. Gonna try to get up there. In one. That was not nearly hard enough. Holy crap! How hard would you have to hit that thing? Maybe that is not possible. I'm not sure. Uh, but I guess we're just gonna smack the heck out of it. That seemed like that was harder than. Yep, that was bound to happen, huh? Knew that one was gonna happen. I remember us glitching the ball out here for some reason. I don't remember how we did it, but we definitely glitched the ball out one time. And it was great. I think we just like smacked the crap out of it and that's what happened. <gasps> stay there, stay there, stay there, don't fall down. Yes, okay. This is looking good. This is looking very good. Okay, we can't bank off that rail up there though. Oh man, I still don't have a handle on this power gradient. Oh, perfectly done. Oh, the gentlest, gentlest touch here. Just a little boot. Hey, hey, hey. The bogeyman. Get it? Because it's bogey and a bogeyman. Okay, this is the hole I remember, I think. I think this hole's, like, really cool. Yeah, like, you just work your way up this little thing. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. So you're supposed to hit it as hard as you can, I guess, and I hit it a little under as hard as you can, and now we're beginning the slow descent into madness, a.k.a. the beginning of the hole. This is terrible. I, hey, hey, I hate this, because now I'm in a <laughs> real bad position. Right, let's try that again. 
Boosh! Hard as I can. There it is. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, we're going back in. We've been sent back into the hole. Boosh! Oh, that was good. That was a good boosh. Thank you for that boosh, sir. Or madam. Or non-gendered thing, because I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, do a little. Oh, that was far too hard. I said do a little boosh, and I did a big boosh. Why did I do such a large boosh there? Such a gargantuan size boosh. Should have done a much smaller boosh. That would have paid dividends, and I should have done a much smaller boosh again. But instead, I've done the boosh back to the uh, mysterious thing. And so now I'm just going to try to use it to my advantage. And it's brought me back to itself. This is uh, this is the self-servingest thing I've ever seen. And now we're just getting a close-up on that pearl ball. It really is a pearl. Look at that 3D render. Boy, they did a great job with that. Oh, what a shot. It's called boobabs. I bet we I bet we laughed at that because it sounded like boobs. And we were like seven or ten or however old was it. All right, we're gonna get it in one. Right here, boosh, first hole in one. Well, off to a bad start. Nope, on the rebound. Nope. Okay, we're gonna get it on this though. No, we're just down in these little, down this little crev. Oh, but wait a minute, maybe that's the way it's supposed to go. It looks like the Rugrats logo up here. Why? What is going on? Oh, hey, that's actually not a bad shot. I guess the idea is that you go all the way around town there and. Uh, I think it's got a little bit of an incline, so we might actually roll. We didn't roll. <laughs> we didn't roll at all. I got very excited about that roll, and uh, that is not what happened there. Let me go ahead and start the little swingo. Get a little swingo going. That was far too hard again. Oh, but got it on the bank. Thank you for giving level. And we've done it. And we don't have the best score, and we literally have nothing to show from it. Shall we do it again? Yes, we shall. Um. So. Now we have no excuses, of course. Now is the boy. I'd sure like to hit the golf course right about now. Now is the run of knowledge, uh, just like the knowledge you're going to get from this series trademark Twilight Zone. Most of all entries in this series contains an homage to Rod Serling's original The Twilight Zone, 1959. In this one, a lemur spooks, spoops the cookbook scene from The Twilight Zone to serve man. Also, Alex spoops the You Maniac speech from Planet of the Apes, a movie partly written by Serling. This is a big Serling boner for this film. Uh, this time we're going to play as, uh, I think what we, I think what our problem was that we didn't have enough power behind our shots, and who's the most powerful? It's Gloria. Gloria got that, got those big powerful hips. Uh, that big powerful stance. Look at look at her. She's so zoomed in. She's so focused. We're gonna get we're gonna beat Alex. We're gonna get the best score on here. And we're gonna name it something stupid. Uh, I was gonna say Dorm, but I feel like we should name it something stupid. And away we go. Boosh. Beautiful start. What a start. Why would you send me that way? Why? Hey game. The whole idea of a of a hole in one here game is uh, that you get it, and it seems you don't quite understand that concept. Hit the corner. Oh, almost got a great bounce. Not, okay, not this fresh hell again. We're fine. The camera may be a bit of an issue, but other than that, we might be able to line up the shot here. That looks about, uh, that looks, that looks about, uh, that, that looks about right, I want to say. What is this, about a, about a two-triangular? Is that what we, is that what we're going to say, about a two-triangular? I think it's what I'm going to put it at. Right there, that was a little hard, but we're going to get out the bounce back. Nothing we're fine, okay. There's a little input delay, delay because of the capture, that's okay. We got it anyway, no worries. Now, last time, see, I don't know how we're supposed to approach that hole, honestly. I mean, that's a pretty good start. I guess hit it harder so it does that and then bounces right in the hole. Because hopefully, like any good mini golf game, there is a hole in one option for uh, each shot. Boosh, already off to a great start. We're already below par. We're minus one, as they say. Now, this this one last time I did perfectly. This time, not so perfectly. Uh, although, ending up in a fine spot ish, this might be a makeable putt. This is not a makeable putt, but we're going to try it anyway. I'm going to try a little bank action. Seems like a two-triangler to me. Maybe off the back, but maybe off the bounce, bounce. No, okay. I was trying to go for an amazing shot there and ended up with a subpar. <laughs> I get it, because golf. Uh, subpar shot. I cannot, I cannot square myself up. Here we go. Might have been too light. Nope, it was just the right amount of touch. Still minus one. Now again, this is the uh, this is the hole that gave us so much trouble. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the uh, I'm gonna go for the little alleyway here since we're still below par. Make sure these lemurs drive by one more time, and then I'm gonna try it. If you see what I'm talking about down there at the end, uh, editor, me, zoom. Next to the bus there, there's like that little opening. It's a little like little construction zone. I'm gonna try to get my little ball in there. And that seems a little off still, so I'm gonna. That seems right. Maybe we'll see. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't forgiving. Just hit the corner there. 
And now this is a, an awful shot. Might as well just go ahead and go for this shot now because the corners are all messed up and stuff. Oh, there's that little area. That seems awful. Okay, we're going to just try to ram this guy in there. Perfectly done. I'll take it, honestly. I'll take it. Just, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we'll three putt this guy. Three putt a four putt. And we're uh, two under par. Whoop de doo. We're, I cannot get this camera to behave. But we're two under par and uh, we'll be good to go. All right. This is this is actually a perfect angle if we could repeat this. All right. Now, this is a uh, this is a one and a half or I think. One and a half or boosh. That was a two. Thank the Lord the game forgives. Uh, just like the Lord. All right. Now, this one we messed up a little time, a little bit. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the left more because I think we needed to go to the left more. I did not hit it hard enough. But... Uh, actually messed it up worse than the last time. Oh, no, the first time we did it was perfect. What am I thinking? All right. Now let's see if we can have a little, uh, little, little renaissance here with this shot. Did not see that wall there. Thought it was an open hole. And, uh, now we've got to face the little blah, 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 blah guys. Who luckily aren't making their, their trademark sound yet, which is nice. I'm trying to line this shot up here. That seems about right. I'm going to I'm gonna say that that seems pretty good. This seems like a two triangular for sure. Hit a little early. That was too early. Uh, all right. Well, you know, not everything can be par. Uh, that was right there. Uh, I was off, but off the bank. In the roll. All right. Over par, kid. Interesting, uh, interesting reference to make for this movie. Movie really likes old stuff, I guess. Let's try to, uh, let's try to just, you know what? Let's take the easy way out. Let's take the shortcut home. And, uh, try it this way, and I'm gonna hit for that many. Does that seem about right? Oh, it spit me, it picked me back up and spit me back out. That's okay, that's not the worst. I pre I'm pretty sure if you just hit the pipe, we're good, so I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, okay. So anytime you get within those arrows, I think you're fine. Now, hopefully, you can just put me out right in front of the crane. Oh, that would have been lovely. That would have been absolutely lovely. Because this little, getting the, uh, the right amount of hit here is, is not easy. I'm trying to look. That was too hard. Okay, so I really just need to double tap and uh, and try to get it there. Off the double tap. Make sure I'm lined up correctly. I guess it would be smarter to go for a corner and try to get it to bounce around, but whatever. I still hit it too hard, and that was a double tap, so I really have to double tap. Just do a rapid little tap here. A little, little tap wrap, and now I'm now the, the stick is sliding for some reason. I guess my left stick does that. All right. Uh, should be fine. Double tap. I swear that was a... Well, this is, uh, this is where that be that high score really goes away. And I'm just going to... Okay, that's as quickly as I could have done it. It was perfect. So just do it as quickly as you can. Uh, I'm already above par, though, so that's that's no fun. That's not a good thing. All right, so we got to line this shot up. Where's the where's the, uh, where's the the all-important hole there? It's back there. Okay. Would it be better off? No, I think we're better off doing it this way. I should have hit it way harder. Man, sometimes it feels like that actually is harder than it is. What? That doesn't make any sense. I feel like it changes value based on how hard you hit it, but I think we're fine. We're at 23 here. We got three holes. And we got to stay at... We got to be three on... Oh, gosh. We have to... No, oh, this is bad. We have to... Uh, we have to get under nine... We have to get under nine shots per hole, which is... Uh, or under three shots per hole. Nine total to get that high score. So... Uh, I'm just going to try to hit as hard as we can. Oh, it was a good idea, but it uh, did not play out. Got to try it again. Now I'm committed. And uh, now we've just thrown it all away. We've just thrown it all away. Got to try it once more. And I've sent myself all wacky. And now we're back here again. Oh, this is all just gone to... This all just gone to beans, huh? I got to try it one more time. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take that shot. Just kidding. So if I just shot it normally, we would have been here the first time. But you know, gotta get greedy in, in putt putt games, of course. That is the that is the all time logic. You have to get greedy in the putt putt. No, don't you dare you. Uh, okay, that's fine. You can stay there. That's okay. We'll try to snipe this little snipe this little corner. Although the uh, the the high score pretty much gone at this point. Try to snipe the corner did not work. Although maybe we'll actually get a good nope. Okay. Oh, uh, that's actually the worst possible place we could be because now we can't get up the hill. Uh, so I'm going to try something freaking crazy here and uh, and try a little bank action. This is going to go swimmingly, I'm sure. You know what? It went fine. Somehow it went okay. It was not nearly hard enough to get up that hill. And now we're going to go rolling back down. No, we're fine. Okay. So I need to hit a little harder. I need to hit a little harder. That looks good! Alright, a little harder. 
No, you don't you dare. All right. Man, we're looking so good. Glory was having such a good run, and I ruined it for her, but I saved it with that shot. Oh, are you kidding me? It's a sneeze away. It's a little cough away from the thing. I almost hit it too hard. And now we're over Alex's best score. But you know what could save it a fact. Here's a fact for you. The Chippenese Mason, voiced by DreamWorks Animation, Conrad Vernon. It's only mentioned by name in the credits. Said, the same said for the sequels. Hey, I said Chimpanese and not chimpanzee. Well, that, make, that makes the video, huh? That's a stupid joke that makes the video, because I, I beansed it. I messed it all up, and, uh, wow, sure did, uh, sure did, sure did. Now, why did that work? I don't understand. This game, this game hates me. It's, it, it was, it was nostalgia-driven at first, and now it's just angry at me. Oh, we gotta get the blep from the blepo. That's what the, that's the official name for that guy, but what a shot! Again, it's just a little fart away, a little breeze away from going in that hole. A little, just a little cough away, just a little a blinks air gust away. I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Cannot believe it. Cannot believe the luck we've that has befallen us in this game. And uh, the luck just continues with that terrible shot. Although we we may have the same shot we had the first time. Yeah, that's actually not a not that bad of a shot. Again, uh, it's much worse. Just kidding, because we don't have a clean shot on the thing. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna whack it. That's usually a good strategy in puppet games, right? You just kind of whack it and see where it goes. Uh, well, we've gone further back into this uh, this butthole here of the of the hole. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. You know, we've lost our we've lost our high score. We might as well try to make something fun happen. And uh, this is just this is like at the end of a football game when they just start throwing up hell marys, even though they're down by two scores. Like you're just hoping for for anything possible to happen. That was actually a really good shot. Uh, and but it's it's too it's it's gone long enough. Now why couldn't we get that roll the first time? Again, we're gonna be a freaking I can't think of another small a fingernail's length from uh, from the hole. We end up at a 42. That's the game. How'd That's the game. I didn't do well. An ominous voice, ominous voiceover man. But you know what did do well? Madagascar the game. Phenomenal game. Is it a phenomenal? I don't know. It's a fun nostalgia game for me. Uh, we may revisit on in retrospect, of course, where we take a new look at old games. I'm not sure. I feel like we've we've spent our time with it, but we may come back for the shuffleboard because I remember the shuffleboard being fun for some reason. But until next time, take care of the dome I'm gone, and uh, I'll see you when we take another look at a different game. That was a weird outro. Bye. Hi, it's me at the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to leave it a like and to subscribe to get more Dormstream's content. Also, thank you to the patrons over at patreon.com slash Dormstream for supporting this video. Specifically, I want to give a shout out to Sam, Chris, Akko, Koala, and Gizmo. Thank you guys so much for being the patrons as well as these people to one of my sides because mirroring webcams is weird. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you next time. Bye!